Hello everybody, this is Sonia. Um, now I've come on here today because I thought I'd better show you. I'm going. To, I'm doing a bit more on this bag that I've been altering. You know how I altered this one that I purchased, and I'm going to show you. I'm cutting the handle now. I cut a piece of um, cotton sort of fabric, cotton polyester a bit. It's got a bit of polyester in it, I think, but not a lot. So, and I'm covering the handle. I cut it about two and a half times as wide as what the handle was so I could have an overlap um, which was going all right there's that bit but anyway now um, I was saying that I wasn't going to go to the markets now because it's too cold I'm not um, well enough to do that I um, my my legs and body doesn't like the cold because my legs don't um, work for me anyway the best of time <laughs> I'm not going to go out there and um, and hurt myself on purpose, you know, uh, which is a bit sad because I was excited, but in a way I had a feeling that it wasn't going to be all right because it's, uh, I'm going to sit down there and freeze to bits, you know, it's, it's, it's all right for younger people that have got no problems, you know, but no, they can sit down there and freeze to bits, but I can't, so I'd have to get out on my scooter and it'd take me about 15 minutes, and even that length of time in the cold going along is not, not, not good for me. But anyway, so that's covered like that, okay? Now, I'm going to put some bits of lace on it, bits of doily, whatever. I might put this one under, in the underneath, because as you can see, when it turned over, there was a little bit of, um, a little bubbled up a bit. But you know, if I see, see this here, scooching up, but if we sort of try to press it down as good as we can, get all those little bits out of it, might not do that, I hope, anyway. Here. I might put this say halfway around the front and halfway around the back. No, I'll put it right across the back and out the side. Let me see. I'll put it on, just put it on there. So I'm going to just get on with it. Anyway, I'm going to have to get a new glue pot. I think this is getting a bit, a bit tricky. You know, I've only been able to use down to about this probably an inch or more left in some I'm going to have to heat them up near the heater or something to see if I can't get the um, see if I can get the glue out of them a bit further because they just seem to don't want to come out anymore because it down near the heater it might be right now and my daughter's off a trip away to orange again today she's going out for going out for dinner and a little movie so that's nice. Oh dear, what is on that? That doesn't look very nice, does it? I'll have to get rid of that bit. Probably a bit of paint or something I've been playing around. I did have this put away to use as a bit extra on this. I'll take this back the other way just for interest's sake. I used to make crazy patchwork bags. And um, I still will do because I really enjoy doing that. And when I did the handle, I just stitched up and down, you know, to make it stiff and, and durable. And somebody said one day, she says, that's all crooked. I said, it's supposed to be. <laughs> ah, well, it doesn't matter. Especially when people have different tastes, I guess, in, in things. I um, think that this um, work that we do, or that I do anyway now, is what um, I want it to be. I used to always have rules when I put stuff in the show. I used to have rules all the time, but now I've got no rules, so please myself. It's so much more fun. I mean, I don't mind having the rules, I guess, because you've got to do that when you're showing your work, but it's a lot more fun the other way. Um, now, this is going to go okay like that, isn't it? Now, I might bring these bits around the side here. Keep smacking the table. I'm sorry about that. I don't know why, but I've got a bit of glue on my hands. And clean the bathroom vanity. That was good fun. Hmm. <laughs> ah dear. It's uh, something you can't get out of, isn't it? Really. You got to do it. Or you just don't like the look of it if it's too. I don't um, mind. I suppose it's just a it looks better for a, about an hour or two. And there might be a few bits and pieces about it, but anyway everything away in drawers I do and it all comes back out at me but never mind it's a bit like my drive room I suppose I was thinking last night about all things you know that 
I've um, been told, and that all the stories I've been told over the years, and I thought, gee, you know, this is really interesting, but I don't know, people don't want to hear about your stories. Some of them must have been far-fetched, I reckon, too. You know, from back in the olden days, my mum used to tell me all these things about, used to go on, oh, you know, like, things that you wouldn't think would be true. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, dear. I don't know if I should mention any, because... <laughs> Family might be watching me and I might get into trouble. It's nothing to do with any of them, though, because the people who I was referring to are all gone many, many years ago. And, um, I think I've said some things on here I probably shouldn't have about people, but, oh, well, it's not bad if it's telling the truth, I don't think. Just people don't like to do their, their dirty laundry. It wasn't anything bad, though, like that. <laughs> Sorry, everybody, I'm just waffling on today. Oh, I don't know. I haven't had a good day. I've been stuck inside now for over a week and I'm not happy. I feel like a bit of a hermit. I mean, I used to go out occasionally with the girls and they'd take me up the street or something, but because I've got my own transport now, they don't have to, but I can't go out if it's cold or raining. Now, you just can't see what I'm doing here. But anyway, and they're busy. So, I just have to stay home until I can get back out again. And I'll be right, I can talk to you people. You don't know what life savages are for me because I've got something to um to do some interest in. I might have to cut that edge bit off there. What do you reckon that piece there? I'll be cut that off. Go on there and cut that off. It's one thing good about crochet, you can do this to it, you can cut it off because it's only done in one row. I told you that before, not like knitting. If you take the if you take the knit and you know, if you get every stitch, you, you you kill it if you don't do this to knitting, to knitting, I should say. So if I put that on the other side, this is on the top side of it. You see, you go that way because you've got the other one going in the other direction. So we'll put that on that way. There we go. too much there's no rules like I said I'll cut that off Get a string there and we'll just fold this over and glue it on come on let's see if I can get some one of these these doilies they come in handy don't they they really good for doing lots of things with hey yes now i've got that open bits but that doesn't matter it adds to the effect of it i guess it makes it makes it a bit different than what it would have been now the thing that i'm making well obviously it could be used if it was only used very um you know very minimal you couldn't be carrying it around all the time i suppose you could if you were wanting to put your stuff in it because i've done a a panel now of um, I had it done a bit previously of silk ribbon embroidery on there. I've got a bit of silk ribbon on it, so it's not something that you can you can use on special occasions, I suppose. Some um, people would be something you could take up the town every time you go up there and get your shopping or something. Anyway, it's up to people what they do with things, isn't it? Yeah, a bit more. I need just a bit more to go the rest of the way. Don't I? Oh, here's a bit. Do you think that'll make it? Now it's not going to be, if it's going to be on the floor. Let's see if I can get that back. It's down here under the table. Or part of me is. I'll be very disappointed if this doesn't fit on there. You probably thought would have thought that I'd have checked it first, wouldn't you? 
I think it might go, but I'll cut that off there. I'm not doing hiding from you what I'm doing. I'm just trying to. Where was the bit with a bit of dirt on it? I just threw that down there in the bin, did I? Where is that it there? There it is. We don't want that. Now everything in the room stuck to my hands. Okay. So I'm going to just put this piece on the end here. <coughs> now this is going to... This is actually taking me to do... I hope it's not too long because... Load it up today. I've, um, I'll go that way. It's a bit different, a bit difficult. Different. Let's put on this side. Maybe later, when I feel like it, I might come along and sew this. Um, give it a few stitches as well, just to make sure that it's going all right. So that's what that's going to look like there. Now, I've uh, got to put this down in the inside of the bag before I stick on the, so that's got to go down in there, <coughs> and that's going to be, have to be <coughs> glued on there really well, isn't it, because we don't want that to come back out at us, or however I decide to fasten it on. Like that. So that's what that's going to look like when I give it a fix up here. Still get to it. I don't know. Sorry if this is out of your view, but and there you go. See, that's going to be like that. Now, um, I will glue this and then I might by well, the time I glue that in the other bit I think it might be hanging on tight enough if not we'll come back another time and uh, before I give it to somebody whatever and we'll fix it up because we want to make sure it doesn't fall off that would be very bad if it fell off wouldn't it come on I'm having lots of glue trouble aren't I maybe I should have got the other glue for this the hot glue gun I'm just going to hang on to that there for a minute till I get a, so it gets hold. And then I've got to put this around in here. Now, and I'm going to, I'm, I will glue that because um, I think that'll be fine to hang on to it. Oh. You can't see at all what I'm doing here, can you? Okay. So when I get to a bit further around, I'll give you a look at it. Okay. I'm just going to make sure that that's sticking to there, but it's not coming up over the top of the the bag. Oh, the shaking these glue pots probably going to drive everybody crazy. <laughs> Is me a little light down. That might help. Put the scissors in there and stick. Just touch that down a bit to um, hang on to it. Now, well, I can either leave this like that, or I can put a um, piece of lace or something around it. It just depends. This is extremely hard to do when your hands are covered with glue. So I recommend that you probably keep them dry, which is not going to be easy, or from being wet, I should say. A bit of a face washer here. I'm going to put some water on it. Have a wee drink myself. Try and clean some of this glue off my hands. We definitely all need a little sink in our rooms, don't we? A little bar, a little sink that slides under the table. <laughs> so that'd be a good idea. And you can just get it out and wash your hands and back to what you're doing because there's nothing worse than having to get off up and go to the bathroom clean yourself up and then come back especially if you're in the middle of doing something hey eh? i'll be talking too much today i hope not anyway that's not working very good for me so i'm just going to have to do my best <laughs> right now 
back to here. Got a bit of it off. Just a, just a start. Righto. Yeah, I'll put it back down on there. Stick all this down into the inside of that. I've had it sitting there for quite some time, as you all know that I've been fiddling around, not trying, not doing this, but I have been doing other things, and you know, you just sometimes when you're doing something and it isn't working for you, I've been told this anyway. <laughs> lots of things in life, if things aren't going right, just leave it alone. Go away and leave it alone. I'm not saying this wasn't going right, but I just didn't have um, the next idea, if you know what I mean. You know, like I knew what I was going to do with it. But you've got to have the... I, I knew that I was going to put that picture on there, but I needed to wait until I, I felt more comfortable with it. And I have got a little bit of a tuck in that, but that, we're not going to worry about that because we're going to have a, a bit of... Um, Lace probably across there so it won't, won't be seen. But I bet you nobody would guess what was under there, would they? Any of you ladies would know. <laughs> That's what I've got, that I've covered over a, a bag. It's going to make it a good sturdy bag. And that's going to have a tuck in there. Okay. And this has come unstuck. So I just, you know what? <laughs> Really well, on you, isn't it? Or not? Yeah, full moon might be doing it. <laughs> there was a full moon here the other, last night, I think. I um, don't know whether that's supposed to affect us in a good way or a bad way. I'm sure there'll be people out there that'll be able to tell me if it was going to affect me in a bad way. Okay, so I'm going to make sure that any tucks or bits that I've got are going to be right up there near the, near the handle, okay? Because they will be less obvious up there. Okay, well you've got to have a little bit of fullness in it because you've got to be able to put stuff in there, don't you? So, I'm going to spread that out and just get it. I was doing me quarters in tape, the teacher would say, just ease it in. <laughs> well, <laughs> have a go at that. It might work for you. I hope it does. So anyway, so now I've got that stuck in there hopefully it's going to stay i wanted to actually do that part because i'm going to now put uh, dwell it on around here i had something on that part that i must have not like it and i took it off so we're going to do a nice little collage or whatever when i say collage maybe we're going to just stick it on around the outside of this just to give it a good edge so it'll have a good edge on it. I want to present it very nicely, I hope. I'm going to put the glue onto here. Um, I'm just going to cover that part there mostly. And like so. Now I need something a bit different down here further. I'm quite seeing what I've got happening here because I've got a, um, I'm a bit low when I'm sitting here, but my, my table's at a good height for doing most things. There we are, now we'll put that bit on there. I think, uh, oh yeah, go on, put it there. Oh, you can rip it off later if you don't like it. <laughs> you can, you can rip it off later. But the texture of the different ways that it's, looking um, is what I'm actually going for okay so um, if anybody wants to tell me what they think about that it's good I'll just kind of split that down there because I want to take this one around the corner a bit maybe it's around the corner there maybe in the the frilly bit on the inside no go back to that lace on you got to just work out what you want, what you want it to be like. I really don't want to cover over too much of this here part. Okay. Well, I want to pretty much finish this because this is going to have to go in the... I've done it now. Basket. <laughs> Not in a way where I've made a mistake done it now, but you know what I mean. You want to put, a, put it in the... Oh, I finally finished that one. Hey. 
got to work on it. I've finally finished it. So I will be putting this up because I, I was thinking about not doing it because I thought, well, people are not going to be interested. But a lot of people did say they would like to see what the finished article looked like when I did this. And I really would like people to see what it looks like now that I've done it. Um, I'll probably come back on here a bit later and give you a little tutorial on how to do those ribbon flowers. Okay, the silk ribbon flowers that I've got on there. Because um, I don't think I've showed those ones. I did a rose one. Um, but the, rib the silk ribbon embroidery is absolutely beautiful. Um, I learned about it quite some many years ago, actually. So Because I really loved it with my crazy patchwork. It was just the right thing to do. I'll just peep about it this and see what I think about it. I might have to cut that back a bit. Cut him off. Oh, I'll often go away, look at something, think, oh dear, what's that doing there? That's not right. And just pull it off if it's not looking right. It looks like something that was an afterthought. You know what? <laughs> you know, afterthoughts on them. Okay. Now, too, I may add a few bits, you know, just on the edge to, to disguise that that is actually an edging, if you know what I mean. Because um, you don't want it to be looking like a tiggly piggly do you? And it's just come there and lift it like that. That's a bit scary that piece. Let me see what else I got. These thinner ones I think I might look at putting on here. Across the bottom. Yeah, they look good. And if you cut that in little strips. Of um, pineapple sort of shape, isn't it? There's a pineapple thing on that. I'm going to put this around the corner here. I'm going to stop putting my glue pot down like that. But anyway, so this is going to actually show you a little bit more of what this looks like, okay? Um, and then when I finally finish it, I'm going to tell you, oh well, I'm going to do something with it next, I suppose. Great. <laughs> this is crafting in the natural. <laughs> it's like like some sort of nature crafting <laughs> in real world in real time. Hmm. Okay, a bit more on the bottom, and then I've got to do the top bit. But um, I'll just let you have a look at that, and I think I might have to go and, and turn this off because it might be too far. But put that on there, put some on there and some on there and there is my finished, that will be my finished bag because I'm going to leave the rest I think like it is. It just depends, okay? So I will definitely finish it right this minute. I'll keep going and I'll come back and I'll show you is it done, I hope, at the beginning of the next video that I make. Thank you very much for watching everyone.